Yo, what's going on YouTube? Guard up on defense here, back in the video today. In this video, we'll be looking at the offensive threat build in NBA 2K21. This build is completely different from 2K20. Even the green and yellow is a little bit different because you know as much defense as last year. This is a green and yellow one, by the way. This isn't the offensive threat of last year, like the dunking and shooting. So, shout out to Nightmare for this build. He found it and he wanted to show it to me. So if there's other videos on this build, it's not that I took it from them, it's just that I didn't see them and Nightmare showed me this build because he, he kind of helps me out and finds builds for me for some content for you guys. So yeah, I kind of don't exactly know what position he's at yet. I think he's point guard, I'll just check. But what you want to do is go to the green and yellow. Oh yeah, by the way, we're at 143 subs, so we're just 7 away from 150, halfway to my goal of 200 subs. So if you're new to the channel, hit that sub button, man. It's free, and I'll keep dropping the NBA 2K21 content for you guys. And once I get next gen, I'm going to keep doing those tutorials, like the dunk animations, all the animations in the game. I'm going to give you tips how to play the new mic here that's getting changed a little bit. Hopefully we can have partners and co-op mic here or something. Because if it's playing bots again like the past 10 years, this is sad. They need to do something because mic here should not be how it is. But anyways, as I said, the green and yellow chart, this should be down here. This one. This is the one, I think. Yep, this one. And then, since you're like a play shot, you definitely want to go all speed. And for the finishing, it's basically everything's maxed out. It's just, you're going to have low defense on this build. But it shouldn't be too much of an issue. As long as you're guarding the corner on defense, you should be perfectly fine. And then the shooting is all maxed out to get as many badges. You just drop a little bit off post fade to save those points. And then your pass to accuracy, ball handle post moves go to 62 and there you go there and then you want to put your perimeter and ladder all the way up and this is what you get you get 9 25 24 1 so really this isn't bad this could be really good for you like a play shot with nine finishing wow that's you could put contact finisher on a dunk in traffic like for some reason play shots this year seem to dunk everything for no reason like they'll dunk around people but having contact finish with like around a 70 dunk, because this build is max wingspan, it will be really nasty. And you, I mean, you're going to be fine with one defensive bat. Just put clamps on. You just guard the corner, and then you'll be fine. As long as you have lockdowns on your team, there's no problem. You're just going to be unstoppable on offense. And then built or barely for the body ship, I would just go with built. And the height is 6'5". The weight, you want to go for as much speed as possible, so that is 178. And then the wingspan is maxed out. So as I said, you're going to have a 70 dunk, which is really solid for a play shot. And you're still going to have 80 perimeter. I don't know if this is going to work, but if you go max wingspan, it's supposed to be an offensive threat, but I don't know if you go one below, it changes, but it seems like one below might be better. Let's just go with sharp and look at this. Okay, so you can still be an offensive threat. So this is the offensive threat. And personally, I mean... If you're not really worried about the plus one three-pointer from going one below, then don't worry about it. Then just go max. But if you guys want that plus one three-pointer back for whatever reason, go ahead. But I would personally go max for sure. And just with how this game's going, sharpshooter just is the most dominant takeover by far. Slasher, there's no point. Shocker, there's no point in this build. I mean, Playmaker would probably be the second one I would choose. Just because your teammates can green so easily off of this takeover. And if you run flashy passer, it can be really insane. And win you a lot of games. But also Sharp can win you a lot of games. Just greening threes over and over. Even hitting whites. So yeah, this is the offensive threat build in NBA 2K21. Hit that sub button. Like 90% of my viewers aren't subs. So it would really help me out. And help out the channel. And be sure to comment down below if you have any video ideas or suggestions for what I should do for next gen. I was thinking of my crew series. If you guys want that, let me down below as well. Just because I've had some people say they want me to do a my crew series or something. I'm also thinking about live streaming. If you guys want me to live stream on Twitch, let me know and I'll start doing that. I have a Elgato I'm trying to figure out still. It didn't work last time because my computer sucks, but I can try it out again. If not, I'll just use the PlayStation thing on next gen. It's still going to be 1080p, 60fps it should be. So I can stream with that just fine. For some reason, the YouTube streaming sucks, but the Twitch streaming is good for me. Don't know why. But yeah, thanks for watching the video.